Back by popular demand, everyone's been asking for this guy. So today we're going to make something super easy, super fun, super kid friendly. Phil, we're making spring carbonara. You got it. All right, so we're gonna make spring carbonara today, but do you wanna tell everybody why you're actually here with me today? Well, cause we're going through our third lockdown. So that means you get to do what? Stay home and do work on the computer. <laughs> so what is actually going into our recipe today? Back when I was on the first one that I did, we had slab bacon. We are introducing it again. We have asparagus, peas, cheese, lemons, eggs, very, very good Maria's Pantry pasta, and salt. Basic Carbonara Phil has uh, some sort of pork product, so we're using double smoked bacon, yep. eggs, 35% cream, which I'm gonna grab out of the fridge, mm -hmm. and they call it Carbonara, do you know why? Mm, the noodles? No, because of carbon, uh, Carbonara, carbon, so pepper, Oh. Coal miners apparently used to eat this in Italy, and when you put the black pepper on it, it looks mm -hmm. like flakes of coal. Ah. Ah. I've never thought of it that I way. I know, but I know you also call it cheesy pasta. First things first, we have to get our bacon rendering. So I've yep. cut some here. I'm going to get you to carefully cut that. I'm going to yes. turn this on. Yeah. Remember the claw? Yep. So, All right. So, so like the claw that. very gently. Okay. Make sure that the same size as mine. Remember, this is a rustic dish, right? Yep, so it doesn't have to be like perfectly. You got the last little bit? Yes. Perfect, here, let's put the bacon into the pan. I'm gonna wipe my knife off here. Uh, all of it? All right, put all of it in, yes. Oh, yeah, not all, all right. of it's in yet. <laughs> here, last few pieces. All right, wanna use the spoon, just give it a bit of a stir. Yep. All right, so while this is rendering, Phil, what are we gonna do next? Crack open three whole eggs and two, and two yolks. Yeah, my rule of thumb is usually for one portion, I do one whole egg and one yolk. Everybody has different things. You're going to do three whole eggs. Yes. And I'm going to do three yolks. So what I like to do is I put my whole egg. Do you know how to separate eggs? Uh, no. I put my whole egg in a bowl and then I basically scoop, scoop it out yolk. with my hands so that I'm guaranteed. It's quicker. Than well, sometimes some I use way. the shell, but the shell is really sharp. So sometimes you actually end up like cutting the yolk, breaking your yolk. Here we right. go, mom. Right over the bowl. Ugh. All right, one more. Yes, the glorious one. Cut it. Got oh, it. No. Oh no, it's okay. It's okay. Let's hope you can get the shells out. Ah, Do you know how to get the shells out? There is no shells in it. Yeah, there is. Where? You get the shells out by using another shell. Oh, I didn't see that shell. Because they are attracted to one another. I didn't know that. Do you know that? Nope. It's a little secret. I'm going to get you to give a good amount of black pepper. Yes. All right, I'm going to add some 35% cream, some he nice heavy cream. Now, this is a dish that is so easy, and especially during this third lockdown, I'm finding it very comforting to have a big bowl of this, right? Yep. I'm going to put a little bit more. Uh, okay. Sometimes we've even had it for breakfast, the fried egg on top. I'm going to add a little bit of salt. Okay. All right, do you want to start whisking for me? Sure. Oh, uh, break up the I yolks. I break up my yolks first, and then... And then start going in like the, ah. Careful, here, how about we switch? I'm gonna stir this while you stir that. Yeah, I just burnt myself with some rendered bacon fat. Because all you wanna do is just render this to get some of the fat out. I like to actually put cheese right into the mix, too. Oh, that's a lot of cheese. Well, we need more. We love cheese. Comfort is cheese, right? So we've got our, our egg, our cream, and our cheese mix. Our bacon is rendered. Yep. We're actually gonna add in ours, we're gonna do some, because it's spring, yep. we're gonna add some peas and some asparagus. But what I'm gonna do is I'm, when I cook the pasta in the boiling salted water, yep. I'm just gonna add that with my pasta. And then we're gonna come together and we're gonna, it's so quick because what's the one thing we don't wanna do with carbonara? Um, do you know? Burn it. You don't wanna scramble the eggs. You and I are gonna take this beautiful mafaldini that we got from Maria's yes. this morning, Maria's pantry, which is right behind the restaurant. Look at yep. how beautiful that is. <laughs> We're gonna boil that with this, and then we're gonna come back, and we're gonna put it all together, and we're gonna put some mint and some lemon zest in there, too. Yep. Lay the bacon's raw. What? Go back to the dorms. I'm done with you guys. <laughs> go. Okay. Go. Red team, go into blue team's kitchen. You guys are gonna cook for them now, because they didn't know how to cook a piece of bacon properly. Yep. 
Uh, yeah. so we're just gonna do one nest. Is sure. that enough for like? Is that enough for us? Yeah, I think it would be. All right. So because this is fresh pasta, it doesn't usually take very long. And then when it's almost cooked, we're gonna throw in our peas and asparagus. Yep. And grab our rendered bacon. And I'm keeping all the bacon fat in there too. Okay, how's that looking? Good. Give can, it a nice can, little... can you do it? Because my, my hand's starting to sweat pretty badly. <laughs> Here, move your buns. All right, so this is looking pretty good. Yep. At this point, I'm gonna throw it. in some. Asparagus! Yeah. And I've already just like sort of chopped those up and the tips. Can I pour in the peas? You wanna put some peas? How many peas do you want in there? Um, I'll have a little bit of this. We don't need them all. Maybe like... Half there, of them? There That's good? Go. Yep. All right, so this is just about ready. Yep. What about this cheese? What's that? It's Asiago. From who? Chiro. Chiro. Let's count to 10. Can you count to 10? One. In French? I'm just joking. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit, neuf, neuf dix. All right, I'm pulling this out. And I'm gonna put it in here quickly. All right, so I'm just gonna mix my pasta right now with my bacon fat, my bacon. Yep. Let's just put in like a little bit of the mint. Like that? That's yeah, good. okay, sprinkle it right in. Okay. All right. Beautiful. I'm gonna do the lemon zest really quickly. Yep. And you know how to use the microplane? Yep. Always go in the one direction. Never go back and forth. Yeah. It ruins your microplanes. Beautiful eggy mix. The beautiful egg mix. All right, you wanna make sure just to give it another little, give it one more stir, and we're gonna pour it right in. All right, come over here and mix. Come mix. Yep. All right. Can I have a, a handful of cheese, please? Oh, yes, you may. And we're gonna put a little bit more pepper in here too, please. Mm -hmm. You wanna grab the pepper? We'll put a little bit more pepper. Yep. All right, this is looking good. And I think like one more there. I've got a bowl for you and I. We're gonna share. Here we are. This is now like looking, look at this. No scrambled eggs. I know. Looking good, looking shiny, sticking to the noodles. Yep. All right, and we're gonna we do, go. how about we finish, we put a little bit more mint in there. Like that. Just to give it a good touch. I love the mint. I love the mint in there. Yeah. All right. Ooh, and look at that. It's just sticking beautifully to our mefaldini. Yep. All right? Uh-huh. Need some more bacon in there. You want more bacon in there? Yep. You are a bacon monster. Who doesn't love bacon? Am I right? I'm gonna clean and our edges, right? Clean and then up. we're gonna use the microplane for Asiago. How about a little bit more? Mint? Yes. And do you want to make it rain cheese? Oh, yes. Do you know how to do it? Yep. All right, there so you, you go. So you have your microplane, and then you have your Asiago, and you grade one way. I'll tell you once I'm finished with this block. Oh, hold on. okay, that's too much. All right, that's good, buddy. All right, a little bit more pepper, and then you and I are gonna sit down and enjoy this, right? Yep. Awesome. Mm. Good job. Thanks for helping me today. You're welcome. Thanks for having me today. All right, well, that was just super easy. Obviously, lockdown number three. Restaurants closed, kids are home from school. We're trying to figure out ways to keep busy and keep entertained, but still being fed really well. So, you know, make sure to subscribe and like. Leave those comments. We'll be making more videos together. Today we had to be here at Little C, which is very different, but hopefully we'll be home soon, right? Yep. Do you have anything to say to anybody before we leave? I hope you enjoyed the video. All right, well, let's go sit down actually in the dining room and enjoy this lunch.